morning everyone welcome back to my daily vlog today i have to do something that i've been absolutely dreading so if you would have seen um a couple months ago we started clearing the olive field which meant that martin cut down all the brush uh, that was about two or three meters high and then we uncovered many olive trees um so over the course of the uh, over the winter i cleaned all of them which meant uh, taking off all the dead branches, getting rid of all the lichen. And for the most part, uh, the trees are doing really well now. Uh, some of them are a little bit on the fence, um, but we're in spring right now, and that's the period that they start uh, shooting out new growth. And we shall see how many um, really survived the pruning that we did for them. So in the corner of this olive field, we have a couple that are really, really thick and really old, probably a couple hundred years old. Um, and they're really beautiful, but they're also some of the, th the trees that are doing uh, the worst. So they only have a couple um, shoots of leaves still. Um, and we, we have to see how much we can still do for them. So the part I'm dreading today is that most of them were covered in brambles. So Martin cut them down at the bottom, the, bram the brambles, and for a month or so they've been dying down, uh, which makes it easier for me to pull them out. But it's still brambles and it's still really thick, so it's not a fun job, and I've been kind of putting it off. Uh, but today is the day I'm going to push through, and I'm going to start cleaning some of these trees. Um, they are quite beautiful. Um, and there are um, some Galician olives, which are big green olives that are good for eating. So I would really like to save them. One of the ideas that we have is to try to put new types of olives on them. Um, kind of lost the word for that right now. But, um, and then from what we've researched, um, even if there's still a little bit of life in the tree, it'll usually catch on to them and then you have a growing tree in a year or two. So that's one of the things we might try. Um, obviously we'll have to see if we can do that, if we can get to a shop um, now with the lockdown and everything. But um, most importantly for now is to get rid of all the brambles and to start cleaning the tree of all the dead uh, branches. Rondje. Twee rondjes. Ja. 
It's later in the afternoon and as you can see I pulled out all the brambles that were hanging up from here and what I need to do now is I need to cut off all the dead branches and then sometime later this week I think we will have to start cutting into the kinsa here because it's getting a bit too close to the olive tree. As you can see, I kind of sought out a lot of the a lot of the de dead parts, especially in the middle. I haven't done everything, but a lot of it is a little bit too high for me, and it feels kind of risky to climb in the tree because it's very fragile. So I'm gonna leave it for now, and then um, maybe this week we'll do the kinsa so that I can also reach some of the other parts. It's quite warm now. <laughs> hard work. I've got two more of the very old trees to go and then two or three younger ones that also have brambles. Um, I'll show you the old two because they're kind of interesting. This is the next one, which is also very big and as you can see there's still some life in the top. That's also a cork oak that's here. Um, but as you can see, there are also many brambles, so I will have to put, pull them out first. And then this is the final one. It's the biggest one of all. It was probably a couple hundred years old. Um, but as you can see, the main stem is dead. There's no more life in the top, but then it has two or three um, we call them suckers, they come out and they're doing pretty pretty okay. I see some new growth, I see some olive, starting olive buds even. So I think what we'll have to do sadly for this one is to just cut off the old uh, stem completely. That's going to be a hard job. Not sure how we're going to do that. And then we can pick one of, or two of the suckers to, and help them develop into big trees. But that's, another, that's a job for another day. This is where I leave you for today. I'm going to make some dinner and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.